Okay, um, as I mentioned, um, Pam is <coughs> available tonight due to illness, and Denise, um, I haven't heard from. So, with, that, with the chair and the vice chair absent, um, so we'll need the commission to select the chair for the night. I just heard the buzzer, so our chair may be walking in. You want to wait a second? Yeah. That buzzer goes off based on its shades. We may not have a chair walking in. <laughs> yeah, it does that all night for some reason. It's like the sunlight throws it. So, do we Sorry, have. Mark, you mentioned that Denise is out for what reason? I don't know. Oh, okay. um, no, not here. Okay. <clears throat> So I guess I'll take nominations for chair for the night. All right, we have a nomination for Peter. Do we have a second? I second that. Second by Kerry. Any other nominations? You don't want to do it. All, right. All in favor of Peter serving as chair for the night, raise your hands, please. It looks like it is unanimous of all but Peter. <laughs> uh, but the majority rules in this group. So. We do have a quorum because we have six of the nine members. So I'll turn it over to Chair for the okay. night. Okay. All right. Um, we do have a quorum. So I guess we'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, next. Oh, I'll have to have everybody with the name tag so I know who you are. <laughs> okay. Um, public comment? Do we have any public online? We have no public other than what you Okay. Um, of the minutes of the March 30th and April 27th. 2022 meetings. We, um, I know we had some corrections that were made. Do we have any? I move we accept as corrected by email. Um, if second. I might, if I might interject, the one thing um, I couldn't, I actually, I couldn't document and couldn't recall. I had on the March 30th meeting, I actually had Derek remote. I'm sorry, I had him in person. And Carrie's recollection was that he was remote. If anybody has a clear recollection, let me know. He was sub of each, actually. He was in the room for a time, and then he was back up at his desk remote. For oh, a time. okay. All right. So close enough. All right. Yeah. That's yeah. All right. Um, the motion, are you saying both of these minutes? Yes. Yeah. Specify. So we have a motion to um, accept as amended online the March 30th and the April 27th. 2022 minutes. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. Okay, any discussion? Okay. Um, who's going to call the roll? I will. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Abbott? Yes. Pila Perry? Yes. Alan Washburn? Yes. Terry Douglas? Yes. Marilyn Hunter? Yes. And Ed Karen? Janet McNeil. Yes. All right. Ed's Karen, yes. Okay, it's unanimous. And the second, Jeanette, in case you didn't see it, was carried on that one. I'm sorry, what was that? The second of the motion was carried. Oh, uh, yes, Tyler, but you know what? I didn't get the first of the motion. Who was the first? That was Tyler. Of Tyler. Oh, Tyler. Okay, thank you. Hey, um, Review and sign the final chapter, final charter. Charter Commission report. First of all, I want to thank Gary and Marilyn for putting this together. Thank you. Um, do we have any questions? Yeah, I have a I have a couple of comments. Um, from my perspective, this is incomplete. Um, I like the form of it, and I think it's accurate as far as it goes. But I, from my perspective, it is incomplete. There were um, a number of items that were brought up by the public or by members of the Charter Commission 
that um, could only be addressed by a charter and have not been mentioned here. There were other items that could have been addressed either by charter or by ordinance, or in some cases by action of the select board. And many of those have not been mentioned as well. So from my perspective, it is incomplete. And I think it should be made more complete. Hey, uh, do you want to be specific? <clears throat> I can give you some specifics, certainly. Um, so for example, among the items that were sent to the attorney for questions, so these were items that were, came in from the public or from the Charter Commission itself, and then went through the process of review by the attorney. One was uh, to propose the change in timing of the town warrant to allow more time for citizen review. A second was to require an information session prior to a town warrant to discuss the contents of the warrant. Another was um, that probably should be mentioned, but also was eliminated for legal reasons, was um, to allow remote participation in a town meeting. I think that the draft that we have mentions the possibility of um, providing a video of the town meeting, which is also a good idea. Um, but uh, the one that I just think it should be mentioned that that was brought up and no, it was mixed, you know. And then um, including some kind of a discussion period, then that was addressed by the attorney. Uh, the idea of holding town meetings more frequently in order to move business more expeditiously through the process. Um, the creation of districts within Toppen helps them to achieve better representation on the select board. Uh, and one that was mentioned, which I was glad to see, was changes to or strengthening of ethics policies for select board and committees, which is, a, I was glad to see that one was in there. Um, the addition of new standing committees or commissions, we didn't even take the time to consider, and we should probably mention that it was brought up as a need. Uh, the one that was omitted from the questions that were sent to the attorneys was the idea that came in from the public of electing planning board members. Uh, strengthening of the requirements for a timely response from the town to questions or requests from citizens of Topsom. And then examination of the requirements or criteria for citizens' positions. And those those are not all of them, but those are the ones I picked up that looked most important to me. Uh, so in, in writing this, I only went off what we said at the, the last meeting when we discussed what was going to be in it. Um, but um, Carrie and I have got to include the lawyer letter with this and perhaps even the chart that I made so that they could see all of the issues. But we just what we discussed was Mark had a shotgun reference, a shell reference. <laughs> was what we discussed was a strategy of saying like less things that we thought they would do. The rifle rather than, right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Rifle rather than a shotgun. What we discussed was saying less things that we thought they would do rather than blasting them with all the things. So if we wrote this letter and then included the lawyer letter and the chart and then all the public commentary, I would think it would give them a good idea of all the things that were discussed. You know, like, like this as a cover and all the other information that sort of went into, that was, the, that was something Carrie and I talked about earlier. Before we go any further, uh, Denise, because you and Pam were here, um, the groups um, probably force nominated Peter to fill in his chair. But if you'd like to take back over as vice chair, probably Peter would not object. So. I think that would be appropriate. Uh, okay, I'm certainly <laughs> willing. I, I, I was going to ask where Pam is. I was expecting her, given that she wrote the agenda. I was hoping she would be here. Uh, unfortunately, she's ill. Again, yeah. uh, that's too bad. But we just started on item number five. All right, have we gone through all the other items? Yes. Okay, thank you. Great. Um, so minutes have been approved and all that stuff. As amended. As amended, yes, because Matt now we pointed out some mistakes. Yeah. Or Carrie, I'm sorry, Carrie pointed out some mistakes, uh, including Tyler now being a Washington instead of a Washburn. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, that's my that's my spell checker. I'm so sorry about that. 
<laughs> this, yeah, so I'm sure that the computer prefers Washington to Washburn. Yes. Always um, added to the dictionary. <laughs> uh, one, one question uh, I have regarding this then, um, I, uh, I do not, I did not notice, and please correct me if I just overlooked it, but I did not notice that these documents that you just mentioned were identified as being attached. No, they haven't been because we wanted to talk, you know, obviously. Okay. I thought for, you know, the, this is going to go to the select board, you know, maybe to flush it out with the rest of the information. So, um, supporting documents, I don't know. Can I, yeah, I think that should probably be indicated on the in the letter. Yeah. That that's fine. Um, can I say that um, I'm there are things I really like about the section on the new code of ordinance, chapter sixty-seven, and consider ethics policy, but I am concerned that um, the the ideas raised in the public hearings that are mentioned immediately after that. My concern is that those may not be the strongest arguments um, about ethics rules, um, even that we discussed here. Um, saying that the ideas of pay for lack of attendance and incentives for board and committee membership, those, those aren't, for me, the ethics concerns that I want to them to think about and address. Those are two ideas that came up at the public hearing. I guess the question is, do we want to say also anything about why we think that policy should be strengthened or that's something that most of us do agree on that we think that that should be looked at? It, I mean, that's what- Again, I only took those because when we went around last meeting and said our things, those were on the list. So that's the only reason that those two are in there is because they were on Matt's list. Could so. you add another sentence um, between um, our saying the policy should be sent to apply to town boards and committees and the ideas that came from the select board to say something about um, reviewing um, the ethics code that currently applies to the select board may be adequate, but should perhaps be considered for boards and committees or you know what are the issues that might be raised about ethics i think one of the big issues is recusals um, that are particularly weak in the planning board and of course we haven't had a chance to discuss this in detail um, nevertheless that is a, a an actually a key issue um, because the planning board's policy is that if a person is directly financially involved in a transaction that is in front of the planning board, then they will recuse themselves at their own option. Um, but if their wife or if their company has a direct financial connection to a transaction in front of the planning board, then they will not. And I think that's weak. And, uh, you know, as I say, we haven't had a chance to discuss this because the decision has been made to discontinue discussion, but nevertheless, that's a real problem. I think that, um, you know, Marilyn and um, Carrie have indicated the direction for the select board here, and, um, and it's one that we all agreed on, I believe, um, and I guess um, the question is how specific we should get. Um, in directing the select board. Uh, and I um, personally think that, you know, just being more clear about what were suggestions made by the public and what were our thoughts <coughs> was my concern. And I don't know, I mean, I don't know, Jeanette, I know your specific concern about the, the, um, planning board. Um, I just don't know how that can be addressed here in a directive to the select board that um, would be acceptable, that is likely to get done. I think that Marilyn and Carrie had a point that, um, you know, we are looking at what we hope is likely to actually get done. Um, is that what 
what everyone does. I, mean, I think that's what we came to last mm -hmm. meeting. Mm -hmm. I missed last meeting. I'm sorry. Oh, you weren't here? No. Oh, Pam was here. Thank you, Melissa. I'm sorry. We, yeah, I guess I, we came to the meeting. I didn't realize that. Absent. I, I think what you were just talking about with the ethics policy is already addressed because it says the ethics policy for the select board should be reviewed and the policy should be strengthened and to apply to the town boards and committees. Yes, I, I agree. I just was concerned about the immediate sentence following that. The I mean, two ideas that- Well, that's another idea. Yeah, that are, yeah. And I guess- We I can pull those. I mean, we here. can just scratch those right out and just leave it as a review, you know what I mean? Yeah, I think that would be better if the first sentence, sorry, the first two sentences were left and the rest was scratched. I think that would actually be better, personally. Okay, the only reason I put those in is because those were on someone's list. We all yeah. put in our things that we thought should be in there. Well, I think it's, so. you could actually just say something even more general, Marilyn, like the public had, if you review the public suggestions, the public had a number of ideas about um, ethics. And that refers to the, 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 a lot of these, it goes back to the chart too. Right, like If we exactly. the chart, it will talk about, oh yeah, okay, and and just, we could refer to um, the chart about. Yes, maybe we could just scratch that and just say ideas raised in the public hearings are included in th these three attachments. That's, I think that's fine. I think that's better. Regarding that, um, the second title, Increased Town Meeting Advertising and Promotion, uh, I recognize several of those ideas uh, that people here have, you know, kind of taken to heart and advocated for. Um, but I wonder if a sentence could be added to the effect that additional ideas have been proposed in each of the two, perhaps it would be more accurate to say each of the three prior charter commissions so that people reading it might realize that there's a large body of ideas out there in addition to these specifics that are mentioned. Or maybe we could just say we are the third charter committee to recommend that there be improvements to attendance a town meeting. Yeah, something like that was a <laughs> Yeah. Um, and are there other thoughts about the letter from Rogers and Kay? Peter, you want to say something? Or no. Oh, Tyler, I'm sorry. So I do think that for just stylistically under review of code of ordinance and increased town meeting, we might want to indent those. So the Last sentence, we trust you to review the public comment, et cetera, clearly shows that these are two separate sections and not go on. Wow. What I do like about the last paragraph about increased town meeting advertising promotion, you, we may want to add attendance to that because we're doing these things to get attendance up, but I could go either way. I think one of the differences between those two paragraphs, though, is at the last meeting, and for those that weren't here, you know, we can discuss it a little further, but there was some consensus on things that we definitely think are shoulds, whereas in the previous paragraph, I think those were a lot of the town may do this, you know, the town may, does that kind of make sense in increased town meeting advertising and promotion, the select board should research installing, Live broadcasting should be considered. Those were things that the commission, I felt, really were able to come to some consensus on saying, hey, selectmen, these are the things we really want you to tackle. Whereas under review code of ordinance chapter six and seven, a lot of that was listing ideas that may have been, but there was no clear consensus on. Well, I, I thought, Heather, I was, I was absent at the last meeting, but I thought there was clear consensus that that should happen in a general way. 
not necessarily yes. that we agree that um, select board should withhold pay or right. those kinds of things. That's why we're pulling those out. Right. Whereas, and I was just thinking that we want to keep like the select board should research installing a digital sign. Yeah. You know, I like leaving that in as a should. I like leaving in that the town should reactivate the town meeting committee. I also like that the town should live broadcasting should be considered because those are things that definitely can increase participation and access. And those are things that definitely fall in the select board's immediate purview. And I think at least in the short term can show some progress. I was just explaining in my brain why I was okay with striking out a bunch in one, but why I want to leave in some specifics and meet in the second. Oh, I think so. I think that those are things we can, we don't, necessarily disagree on in any way. I think everyone, even, you know, I think, does everyone agree on Wait. all those items? Mark, would it be possible to show, download the letter and show it up Same there screen. and yep. get the edits done tonight yep. just so we can, can wrap, wrap up? Can Maybe I? Sorry, go ahead. In, uh, anyone would be interested in? Just so we can just get those edits in there and I'll be on the same page and wrap it up. That's not be a bad easier idea. to do it here than being in Yeah. Here. And can I add um, one? Uh, I would like to add three words to the first sentence of increased town meeting advertising and promotion. The select board should reactivate the town meeting committee and actively recruit members. I like that. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's nice. I like that. Yeah. To address recruiting attendance until the town meeting. Um, in terms of finishing up, also, I just want to throw out to you all that um, I am very likely to write a minority report. And I don't believe that the state law requires that this be approved. I believe that it is required to be submitted within nine months or perhaps it is one year from the time we first met. So I, I just want to let you know that that's out there and I um, will very likely do that, um, but I, I am not aware that it needs to be approved. So I'm, I'm not sure if that stops us from finishing up, but I just wanted to let you know about that. Is that standard practice or? It is in the law. I do think they go in together probably in the same packet, right? Majority report, accompanying documents, minority report, accompanying. And if we're doing that, we might want to put names on which ones that that way. Um, yeah, and uh, that's fine. I mean, I don't intest, intend to take a whole long time to get that to anybody. I mean, a, a week is probably fine. So, I, and I, I don't, I'm perfectly happy signing it on my own. Um, others, if they wanted to, certainly could, but that's, you know, not necessary from my perspective. It, either way is fine. Um, but I just want to let you know that that's out there. So, I mean, it's fine for me to finish this up. And I think the suggestions are good for uh, tweaking it a little bit here. Uh, and I can add this additional document at a later time. I, I don't, I'm not aware of anything. I haven't seen anything that suggests to me that a minority report requires approval in any way. Um, so I, I'm not sure this is an impediment. Probably just among whoever minority is that's writing it. So if it was just you, then I guess it needs no approval. But if it was you and someone else, then the two of Well, one. yeah, but I suppose if it's me and somebody else, the somebody else can also sign it and and you can compile it with the other docs and go from there, you know. Yeah, no, I think you're right. It's sort of like a judge's opinion. Whatever judges sign on in the minority, it's just you need to approve it. Marilyn, do you want to use the computer? Or? Oh, do you want me to go? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Carol, since you've got the notes so far. Um, would a minority report have to go in the same time as the majority report? It probably makes sense. But, it, but she's going to do it the next week. Yeah, exactly. I don't anticipate a big, a big. When, when is the next select board meeting? Uh, tomorrow night. And then after that, it's the first Thursday in June. 
We probably won't act on anything until after the town meeting anyway, I guess. That's yeah, probably true. <clears throat> Uh, so uh, prior to that first week in June, so the first week in June is probably, you're probably talking about June 2nd there, that's a Thursday? Right. Yeah. And so at what point do you send packets out to them prior to that meeting? We want to have it by, at the very latest, Wednesday morning of the fire week. Okay. Wednesday morning. So basically, we have meeting there. That's May 25th? Is that what you're talking about? It's Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. So if we get this cleaned up tonight and then have the supporting documents, we just sign off on it and then whoever wants to sign the minority report and then that just becomes the, the packet that gets filed. And then probably, we could do one of two things, I guess. You don't necessarily have to present it in person, but if you wanted to present it in person, then you probably want to pick who you want to speak and then we get you on the agenda for that too. So I'm so sorry, Mark, I couldn't quite hear that. Could you please oh, say again? Yeah. So what I'd suggest you may want to do is you could either just finish your report and we just turn it into selectmen, but you might rather select a speaker to you know go to the, say that first meeting in June and say, you know, you, we provided you with a charter commission report. And you know, in brief, we decided. Uh, not to write a charter because of this and this. However, we would encourage, based on the comments, you know, kind of summarize what you said in the letter. But that way, if there's questions or you, you can explain it a little, so it might, but you don't have to. But it might be worth having selecting a spokesman and have someone go to the meeting or more than one person. I would just need to know by the 24th if that's the plan so that we could get you on the agenda. Because actually, if you just want to turn the report to the selectman, you don't even have to. We don't even have to have it by that Wednesday. We can just give it to them anytime. But I think it would probably be better to have someone come before them and um, present it. I think someone that's on the minority report may want to come as well as somebody from the majority report. Yeah, I can that. That, that makes sense. Um, I frankly don't know which report I'm going to be on yet. Um, and there's a, a lot I really like about the letter here, um, but I do still have a concern that even though town meeting is a very democratic process, that because of a lack of attendance and the fact that, what is it, 0.1% of the town? is coming to town meeting these days, that, that the effect is not democratic. And that just deeply concerns me. If we were able to have many, many more people attend town meeting, if we even had a bigger space in which to hold town meeting, like the fairgrounds, um, I think I would feel better about the situation, but I just, I have sincere concerns that the level of particip excuse me, participation that we get now means that although the process itself is very democratic, it functions undemocratically because of the few members of the public who are here. It's, it's just a big concern for me. Um, and that's why I came to this commission just as some of you came because you love town meeting and don't want to see it go anywhere. And that's really the only concern that I came with that. And, and I had some concerns about ethics on committees, um, not on the select board. Say that very clearly. Um, so that, you know. But a lot of that is covered in this letter. Um, so it kind of depends on how or what the minority report says, whether I choose to go that way or this way. Um, I have a question. Um, who, who signs this? Does the chair of the committee sign it? Or who is supposed to sign this report, typically? 
think all of us sign the report because it's accepted at the committee. And then those who would want to sign the minority report would sign the minority report. But I think everything I've ever seen, it's everybody on the committee would sign the report to be submitted. Hmm. On the last one, Mark Condiani did not sign because he was not in favor. But he wasn't in attendance. Read that. Oh yeah, that's true. He also wasn't there. Yeah. So also, I think that heading is supposed to be increased town meeting advertising and promotion in order to increase attendance. If I'm not, I think there was a comment on the document there, that header there, increased town meeting advertising and promotion for the purpose of increasing attendance. That was Tyler's comment. Yeah, but I think your couple of lines actually helped, or a couple of words in the next sentence. So. In the sentence, right? Just not in the for the purpose of promoting and increasing infrastructure. And then I think the further the, the additional comment was made that this is the third charter commission that has made this recommendation or something like that. I don't remember exactly what the comment was, something to that. I had a comment about actively recruiting members that went in after the select board to reactivate the town committee, town meeting committee, and actively recruit members. You have members too for the purpose. Oh, I can't read that without that. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Move on. Okay. Can you talk about the intentions of town meeting? Um, for 40 years, I've seen at the town meetings that I've been to is selected the finance committee and just attending mm -hmm. fairly consistent numbers, pretty much the same, somewhere between one to two hundred people. Sometimes some town meetings are really less, some town meetings are a little bit more, but there's almost a core amount of people attending that changes over time. Um, we can't force people to come to town meeting. And I think um, we can try to get more people to be aware of the fact that there's town meeting by putting a, a sign out in front of the building at Elizabeth Falls. Um, they get they get the, the um, Charlie's paper. It's got town meeting warrant in it that tells them what it is. They, have, they certainly have a gun. Um, Peter, you know, I hear just, you, but uh, we, we've been trying for 40 years to get more people in town meeting. 40 years ago, Peter, uh, well, actually, I moved to town 38 years ago. And 38 years ago, there were about three and a half thousand families in town. And we're now looking at more than double that. So the difference between 100 and 200 people showing up when there are only 3,500 families in town and when there are now around 10,000 residents is, is pretty significant. Yeah. Um, and so that's where my concern lies. It's, so it's, not, not, it's a lot easier to say we should have more people attend than it is to actually get more people to attend. Well, I, and I mean, yes, this, and this goes back to the fundamentals of where we all came in. I don't think rehashing it at this point is no one's changing their mind. I mean, we're at the point where we are. Oh, I mean, you have everyone I, has this, their same concerns. That's coming in. I agree. I'm, I'm not, I just, Peter was disagreeing with me, so I'm disagreeing back. That, that's that's fine. I'm just, you know, we're we so all going to have to agree what, to disagree. What else point. do we have to do at this point? Um, I think when the edits are made and we all agree on it, maybe we should have a motion to accept the letter and vote on it. And, those that want to sign it, vote yes. And those that want to go with a minority report, vote no. Is Bernstein and sure one word? It is Bernstein sure? Two words. Two. Okay, that's what I thought. I was reading his signature, it's one word and like their logo, so yeah. I wasn't sure. Yeah. Do we need to put anything about, attach, um, about the attached documents? Do we need to, or is that just the... He's doing it right there. Oh, sorry. You know what? I think you're right. The logo now is one. It used to be Bernstein, Sawyer, and Nelson. Yeah. So it's definitely the other. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Yeah, I'll the law firm be sure it's up for you. Could we just say legal counsel's opinion and then we don't have to have it? <laughs> yeah, right. Actually, I like the specificity. I actually like the specificity there. I would also are you, start are you the case. Be, are you going to be on the majority report, Jeanette, though? Because oh, no, I probably won't. Okay. So that's a good point. I, I like making it a little bit legal counsel's opinion on there instead of maybe getting the law firm wrong with the spacing. Six of one, half dozen of the other. Okay, so just legal opinion. Or you could just say, Opinion from or legal right. opinion from oh yeah so I would have that yeah. there's a comment in the I, I didn't realize he was this kind of attorney it's it's a actually, comment, it's there's a comment in the chat with the correct spelling of the name of the attorney's firm from somebody in the public that's above my pay grade finding the finding the chat on here I think you just say the town attorney thank you okay. Yeah, Bernstein, sure. Two words, S H U R at the end, says Nate Cloutier. Okay. Oh, hi, Nate. Hi, Nate. <laughs> He's a nerd, Nate. Yeah, yeah. He's been my best friend since high school. So clearly, he needs something else to do on a Wednesday night. Yeah. Well, you know, he, just you know, it's being recorded and will be put in our. He's not busy uh, attending legislative session right. anymore, so. Right? Like Sign of die. Yeah, it says there's someone called Brenda on there. Yeah, there's someone else watching. Okay. I think I know. Yeah, is it Peter's wife, Brenda? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. On the ground, that might incriminate somebody. <laughs> okay, so are we done editing? I think Tyler wanted to advance some of her notes. on the paragraphs. All of them? Or just those two. Didn't you want that heading to change power? I was thinking if if folks are amenable, increase town meeting advertising and promotion for attendance. I like the idea of having attendance in there, but in the paragraph, it kind of. How about increase town meeting attendance through advertising and promotion? I like the sound of that. <laughs> you only have to add the word attendance of work. Did anyone see any grammatical errors? I think the spelling's off right. It's really just like a paper right now. Um, or actually, would town, would town boards be capitalized the town in it? Yeah, I wasn't sure about that either. Yeah. I think you could. We're referring to our town. Yeah, also, um, I'm just by way of a question. Um, the attorney said that it was, you know, just downright not even legal for people to part currently for people to participate in town meeting uh, remotely. And so I'm just looking at that very last sentence and thinking, well, wait a minute. I mean, are we being clear that we recognize that that is not possible right now um, because there's a law prohibiting it? Um, but that I'm not sure if that's really clear. I'm not sure if that's clear. Yeah. I, I think the, um, there was a comment at some point about um, providing a video of the town meeting. And I, the, I think the lawyer okayed that one. I think that's okay. Live broadcasting, I think that part is probably okay. But they, they, said, they said specifically that you cannot have remote participation in a town meeting. Yeah, I mean, maybe you want to say the town should continue to keep aware of state of Maine law regarding their no participation. Yeah, maybe something like that. And, and just so this group knows, we're planning to use this uh, this year and do a webinar at town meeting. So, uh, and we already have a link on the website. So if someone watched to watch town meeting remotely, they can. There's also a warning on the website that says if you want to vote or discuss, you actually have to come to the meeting. Yeah, I, I, that's what the lawyer said too. So, yeah. Stanley law regarding remote participation, which probably be singular in law. You know, there's a... 
I'd be we'll comfortable later about this. I'd be comfortable striking that line too, though, because I do think that right now, legally, the town could have a live stream. That I, I kind of see where Jeanette's coming from, where maybe we don't even want to dangle that remote participation last line in there because truthfully, it's elite, we can't do it. Although, I mean, as an alternative, you could say in the event that it becomes legal to do so or something like that, in the event that Maine state law pro, pro, uh, permits it at some point or something like that, just to make it clear that, you know, we kind of recognize it's not possible right now. Anyway. Instead, it, of, instead of where it is appropriate, it could say when it is legal. <laughs> yeah. I, I do think, though, we're going to open that can of worms and we could go anyway. I do know from the town clerk cap that I used to wear, it's very difficult to manage town meetings some days anyway with a lot of hands up voting and then throwing in the cars with remote participation and so on. You know, that line truthfully was one of the ones that I was kind of, I was willing to go along with because I think it was a good intent, but I do think that if we're saying we should do it when it's available, that's different than following along, which is why I think it might be easier to strike. But how about the town should continue to keep aware of Maine state law regarding remote participation? Period. Period. Right. Participation at town meeting. Yeah, that's better. Mm -hmm. And then we should probably keep it otherwise town. Yeah. Or tops of it. Yeah. That's good. Top them should continue to keep aware of fairs in the law regarding the road participation at town meeting. Is everyone send this off to the cloud to print somewhere, or do you have to go plug it in? Oh, as far as signing it, yeah, yeah, I have to go plug it in. So maybe once we finish the meeting, I'll quickly run upstairs with a okay. laptop. <clears throat> okay. Um, so is are we done? Is everybody okay with the letter as it's been edited? <clears throat> we accept the majority report letter as edited with the additional documents reference. Second. 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 I accept that friendly amendment and include it. Okay. Uh, and with the additional documents, is that the amendment? Yeah. Okay. So it's been moved and seconded to accept the majority report, which is the letter that we just edited and the additional documents um, to be uh, provided to the select board um, as our final report. Um, and I guess we should just go around and vote. Mark, are you a voting member of the committee? No, nope, I'll do the roll call for you. Okay, why don't you do the roll call? Marilyn Hunter. Yes. Is it yes? Matt Abbott. Yes. Peter Perry. Yes. Denise Tuffler. I'm going to abstain because I need to know what the minority report is before I make my decision. Okay. Adam Washburn. Yes. Terry Douglas. Yes. And Karen. Yes. Jeanette McNeil. Uh, no. So you have five that voted yes. So that would say you do have your majority of the votes. Okay. So six. Six, yes. Two, six, four. yes to two. Six, yes. One six, Oh, that's right. Maryland. One, no. I was thinking Maryland. Six, <laughs> six, yeah. Six, one right. six, no, six, and one thing. And one absent. One absent. 
I'm sorry, I need the second on that motion, please. The second I, I, was carried. Thank you. Okay. Um, the agenda indicates that we should have closing comments. Um, does anyone uh, want to make any closing comments? Just again, I'd like to thank Carrie and Marilyn for the work they've done on the letter and getting it started. I will defer that all to Marilyn. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, and thank you for editing it as we speak. Um, yes, Mark? So on behalf of the town, obviously you uh, had to come here for a number of nights over the past four or five months. So thank you all for your dedication in doing that, putting your time into this and your consideration. And we appreciate your service. Well, thank you, everyone. Let's, uh, thank you, Jeanette, for taking minutes. I know it's not very easy to be remote and taking them. Yeah, sorry, remote is bad. I appreciate all your patience and corrections. Um, what we'll do is once we stop this, I'll run upstairs, print it, and those will be the here. I'll bring it back down to the side. I want to say that even though there were some tense moments and some strong disagreement and heartfelt disagreement, I felt that um, everyone in the group did their best uh, to participate, and I appreciate that. So thank you all. I just add that I'm very thankful I had the opportunity to be here and participate in the process. I may not live in Thompson, but my heart is in Thompson. So thank you. Thank you for filling the spot when nobody else was stepping up. Can we get you a little bit of voting again? So um, with that, uh, I guess I'll entertain a motion to adjourn unless there's any other final comments. So moved. Okay, I don't believe we need a second or a vote on adjourn. That's it. Mark, I saved that on your desktop for everything else. I was going to say, we'll be fun with that. I'll never find it again. All right, thanks everybody. Have a good night and a good summer. Mark, Mark, I can sign tomorrow. I can sign tomorrow yeah. when I come in. Yeah, you don't have to run down right now. Yes, you do, Ed. I want to see you. <laughs> <laughs>